Hi, would you consider using or have you used a vaginal ring to treat or prevent a health condition before? How did you feel about it? Or what about your sexual partner? In this video, I want to share six uses of a vaginal ring as a medical device. And four of them are quite recent developments or advances in using vaginal rings to treat or prevent medical conditions. Hey there, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a consultant in general practice based in the United Kingdom. Welcome back to the channel. This is Ask Your Way Health. Please go ahead to give this video a like and of course consider subscribing to the channel. And guys, I am on TikTok and I'm trying to get my first thousand followers. So please head over to TikTok, give me a like or a follow and I would really appreciate to have you on there. As a medical device, that is an item that has a medical purpose or used for treating or preventing some health condition. The vaginal ring has a number of uses. The most important being that it can provide a very effective and alternative way of taking medication um, if you don't want to take it or you can't take it by other methods such as by mouth. So let's begin looking at different ways the vaginal ring is being used today. Number one of course is the most popular which I'm sure that you're familiar with which is the vaginal birth control ring. So of course it's the most popular or should I say most well-known method and think of the ring as just being a method of delivering the drug into your system because once it gets into your bloodstream it's behaving exactly the same way as the combined hormonal contraceptive pill does. In other words, inside the ring you have two hormones, progesterone and estrogen, and users will insert the ring into the vagina and it will deliver birth control pretty much in the same way that you will get birth control with the combined pill or the patch. Number two is for some women who have a prolapse and in this case the vaginal ring is being used as something known as a pessary so the full name is a vaginal ring pessary the ring or vaginal pessary is inserted into the vagina into the vagina in order to hold the vaginal walls in place and support a prolapsed womb that is a womb that has dropped down into the vaginal canal. In other words, it is supporting tissues that have become weak because that's essentially what happens in a prolapse. And if you don't know what a prolapse is or you want to learn more about the pelvic floor, please go and check out this video here where I do talk a lot more about the subject. In this instance, no medication is added to the ring pessary and is a particularly useful method of dealing with a pelvic floor weakness or prolapse if you don't want to have surgery or if surgical repair is just not feasible or practical in maybe because of some pre-existing health conditions. And so with a vaginal ring pessary, it tends to be a little bit bigger like you see in the image I've got here on the screen compared to the vaginal ring used for birth control. It's also a little bit less flexible with the ring being made of um, things like plastic, rubber or silicon. Um, in some cases, it might even be made of latex or vinyl. The interesting thing now is science is looking at how medication or different drugs, whether single or as combination, can be delivered to the body using the vaginal rings as it's done with the birth control ring. A lot of the technology I'm going to be talking about now is coming from the Population Council. The Population Council is a leading research organization that's dedicated to building an equitable and sustainable world that enhances the health and well-being of current and future generations. They say they generate ideas, produce evidence and design solutions to improve the lives of underserved populations worldwide. So let's look at what other purposes vaginal rings are being put to, whether in research or already in production at the moment. Have you heard of the DAPI ring? Now, this is a relatively new development since 2020. The DAPI ring is a vaginal ring. It's made of flexible silicone that a user can insert into the vagina themselves and it's kept in there for a month before it is replaced by a new ring. It reduces the risk of contracting HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus, during vaginal sex. Just like with the birth control ring, the DAPI ring sits within the vagina near the cervix from where it slowly releases an anti-retroviral drug, an anti-HIV treatment called dapivirin, 
near the potential site of infection. The DAPI ring can be used for other forms of contraception like the pill, the implant and the injection, but not with a birth control ring. So you can't have two rings in there at the same time. Okay, so that is the DAPI ring and that is our third use of the vaginal ring to date. Let's look at number four. It's in development and it's actually an advance on the DAPI ring. So this one is a dual purpose vaginal ring containing both the antiretroviral drug dapivirin that we just talked about in the dapivirin as well as the progesterone levonorgestrel which is the same as what you would find in most morning after pills like plan b levonel postino and so on so this is a plastic ring and the intention is for the drugs both drugs to be slowly released into the vaginal area once the ring is in place this is also something that a woman can insert herself as it's the case with the other birth control ring and with the DAPI ring and in this case they are looking at having it replaced every three months so watch this space the next use of the vaginal ring is number five which is the EEQ vaginal ring this one is also still in the early phase of research but let me tell you what the intention is behind this particular ring it is supposed to combine something or a drug that's supposed to help to prevent pregnancy with a drug that will help to reduce the risk of a sexually transmitted infection in this case hiv however this drug that is supposed to reduce the risk of hiv infection is not an antiretroviral drug in addition the hormone that is going to prevent pregnancy is not the progesterone this time it's estrogen so the last one i've got to tell you about in this video is using the vaginal ring for delivering non non-hormonal birth control for those of us who of course are not uh, are keen on not having hormones this is an option so again it is not yet in the market but according to the population council they are developing a user control so that means the woman can insert it herself as you do with the other vaginal rings by the way the only vaginal ring that you can't insert yourself is the pessary the ring pessary usually your gp or your uh, gynecologist can um, measure you and then insert that one but the other ones that i've talked about all of them are user controlled so they say this is a user controlled multi-purpose prevention non-hormonal vaginal ring that will provide birth control protection against sexually transmitted infections and there is the added benefit of promoting vaginal health by helping to maintain optimal vaginal pH so we've been talking about non-hormonal birth control methods and that's really important if you'd like to learn more about methods that are not the condom or not the calendar method go check out this video i have here on the channel discussing the fexi gel which is a non-hormone method for birth control let me know what you think and i'll see you again in the next video bye